the new Premier League is upon us. Are you excited? I sure as shit am. Let's get predicting. Also, if you comment your predictions down below and you get all of them right, I'll bloody give you a hundred quid. Promise. Alright lads, Gland here and welcome to a new series. Basically, I'm testing my score prediction skills against those predictions of Football Manager. It's pretty similar to Loro's feature on the BBC website where he, he predicts the scores against celebrities, whereas I'm doing it against Football Manager. So the rules for that game is 40 points for a correct score, 10 points for a correct result, and to make it interesting, if we both get the correct result, then whoever's closest to the amount of goals to the correct score, they will get an extra five points. So let's do the predictions for week one. First up, we have Arsenal versus Leicester on Friday night. Looking at the two teams, I mean, Arsenal have brought in Lacazette and Kolasinac, and Leicester have brought in Harry Maguire, Bora, and most recently, Kelechi Iheanacho. So both sides have dabbled in the transfer market. This is how I think Arsenal will set up. I think they're going for a, a three at the back system with checking goal, holding Mustafi and Koscielny as the centre backs, Bayarin and Monreal as the wing backs, Xhaka and Ramsey as the two central midfielders, Oxley Chamberlain at right midfield with Ozil at left midfield and Lacazette up front on his own. And this is how I think Leicester will set up. Obviously sticking with their 4-4-2 classic formation. Schmeichel in goal, Danny Simpson at right back, Maguire and Morgan as the central defenders, Fuchs as the left back, Mares in right midfield, Ndidi and Drinkwater as the central midfielders, Albrighton at left mid, and the two strikers, Vardy and Iheanacho. I actually think this is going to be quite a close game. I mean, Leicester weren't the greatest last season, but I still think they've got it about them to give Arsenal a good go. I have predicted 2-1 to Arsenal for that game. Now let's see how Football Manager thinks it's going to turn out. And this is how they think Arsenal are going to line up. A 4-2-3-1 formation with checking goal. Bellerin, Mertesacker, Koscielny and Monreal as the back four. Coquelin and Ramsey as the central midfielders. Oxlade, Chamberlain and Welbeck as the wingers. With Ozil in behind Lacazette. And this is how they think Leicester are going to line up. Schmeichel in goal, back four, Danny Simpson, Morgan, Maguire and Fuchs. The midfield four of Mares, King, Danny Drinkwater and Mark Albrighton. And the two up front, Jamie Vardy and Kelechi Iheanacho. Coquelin with the ball here, out to Bellerin. who swings it in and Welbeck is at the back stick to head it into the net. And Arsenal go 1-0 up in the 25th minute. Walcott taking the corner here, swings it in. And there's a foul been given. It's a penalty. Mark Albrighton committing it. And Lacazette steps up to take it. And he comfortably puts it in the top corner. 2-0 Arsenal in the 64th minute. Coquelin running through the centre here. Plays a lovely ball to Walcott. Who swings it in and Lacazette from close range. Tops off his brace and makes it 3-0 Arsenal. Within minutes of the second goal. Urza with the corner, swings it in, Lacazette with the header, and it's another goal. 4-0 Arsenal. Horrendous mistake by Schmeichel there, and Lacazette nods it into the back of the net. And that is three goals in four minutes. Coquelin sprays it out to Bellerin, swings it in. Giro at the back stick, heads it into Walcott, and he scores. He makes it 5-0. It's full time, and football manager predicts Arsenal 5, Leicester 0. And the next game up is the early kickoff on Saturday, which is Watford versus Liverpool. And this is how I think they're going to set up. I think Watford are going to play with a 4 4 2 diamond narrow. Aurelio Gomez in goal. Jan Matt at right back. Pirdle and Kabul as the centre backs. Holobas at left back. Kapue in that defensive midfield. Will Hughes and Cleverly as the centre mids. Roberto Pereira as the attacking midfielder. And the two strikers, Andre Gray and Okaka. I would have put Deeney instead of Akaka, but Deeney's injured. So, um, For Liverpool, they've got quite a few injuries, to be honest. I think they're going to set up like this. Karius in goal. Alexander-Arnold at right back because Klein is injured. Matip and Clavan as the centre-backs. Robertson at left back. Vinaldum and Chan as the central midfielders. Salah at right midfield. Coutinho in behind Firmino. And Mane 
at left midfield. And although Liverpool have quite a few players out injured and they don't really have a main striker, they did alright last year without one. So I think this is going to be a 2 0. I think it's going to be quite end to end, but Liverpool just being the better finishers at the end of the day. Now let's go on to see what Football Manager thinks. And this is how they think Watford will line up. Going with a 4 2 3 1 formation, Gomez and goal, back four of Jan Mat, Kabul, Britos, and Holabas. The two central midfielders, Kapue and Hughes, Amrabat and Success as the wingers, with Pereira in behind Andre Gray. And they think Liverpool are going to set up like this. A 4-2-3-1 formation again. Milner at right back. Hmm. Sacco and Lovren in the centre with Moreno at left back. Hmm. Again. Vinaldum and Chan as the central midfielders, with Salah and Coutinho as the wingers, with Mane in behind Firmino. Salah with it. Pass to Coutinho, who crossed it in, oh, it's gone in. What a shambles by Gomez. And the full-time whistle goes, football manager thinks, 1-0 to Liverpool. And the first game of the 3 o'clock kickoffs on Saturday, we have Chelsea versus Burnley. And this is how I think the teams will set up. Chelsea with their obvious 3-4-3 formation, Courtois in goal, the three defenders Azpilicueta, Luiz and Cahill. Moses and Alonso as the wing-backs, with Fabregas and Kante in centre. Pedro and Willian as the wingers and Alvaro Morata up front. And this is how I think Burnley will settle. They usually go for a 4-4-2 formation. And I think Heaton in goal, Bardsley at right-back, Tarkovsky and me because they're basically the only centre-backs they have. Taylor at left-back. Goodmanson at right midfield, Jack Cork and Stephen DeFore in central midfield, Brady at left midfield, and the two strikers, Ashley Barnes and Sam Vokes. I really don't think Burnley are going to come close. One, it's at Stamford Bridge. Two, Burnley's back line looks absolutely shocking, and I don't think it's going to be able to withstand Chelsea's might. 3 0 Chelsea for that one. Let's see how Football Manager thinks it's going to turn out. And this is how Football Manager thinks they will line up. Courtois in goal, a back three of David Luiz, Gary Cahill, Andreas Christensen, the two wing-backs Azpilicueta and Marcus Alonso, the two central midfielders Kante and Fabregas, two wingers Pedro and Willian with Alvaro Morata up top. And for Burnley it's a 4-4-1-1, with a back four of Lauten, Tarkovsky, me and Taylor, Two defensive midfielders, Cork and Defoe, with Goodmanson on the right and Brady on the left. Hendrick as the attacking midfielder with Sam Vokes up front. And it's corner to Chelsea. Marcus Alonso whips it in, headed out. But Marcus Alonso has it. Pass to William. Pass to Pedro as a strike and it's a lovely goal. Top corner and it's 1-0 to Chelsea. David Luiz plays it down the line to Pedro. He swings it in and it's an easy finish for Morata who makes it 2-0 to Chelsea. David Luiz swings it into Morata. Willian on the edge of the box has a strike and it's 3-0. Wonderful goal. And that's full time. They bloody copied me. 3-0 to Chelsea. And we go on to game four now which is Palace versus Huddersfield. This is how I think Palace will be setting up for the game. Hennessy in goal, Ward at right back, James Tompkins and Scott Dan as the centre backs, Van Arnholt at left back, Milivojevic and Loftus Cheek in the centre, Zaha, Punchin and Townsend as the attacking midfielders with Christian Benteke up on his own. Now, this was a tough one to predict um, because I don't really know how they play, but I've decided this is how I think they'll be setting up. Lursel in goal. Smith at right back, Schindler and Heffler as the centre backs, Lurva as the left back, Aaron Moy and Danny Williams as the central midfielders, Elias Kachunga at right midfield, Casey Palmer on loan from Chelsea in the attacking midfield role, Tom Ince and Mounier up top on his own. I actually think this is going to be a close one in all honesty. Palace aren't at their strongest and I think Huddersfield might surprise a few of us this season. I think they're going to do a Bournemouth and I think it's going to be a one-all draw. Let's see how Football Manager thinks the game is going to unfold. And this is how they think Palace will be setting up. Wayne Hennessy in goal, a back four of Joel Ward, Tompkins, Dan 
and Van Arnholt. In defensive midfield is redeveloped with Milivojevic and Jordan Much in central midfield. Townsend on the right, Zaha on the left and Benteke up top on his own. And for the Huddersfield lineup, Lursel in goal, Smith, Jorgensen, Heffler and Lerva as the back four, Aaron Moy and Danny Williams in central midfield, Rajiv Van Lepara at right midfield, Casey Palmer, Tom Ince at left midfield and Mounier up top. Mounier with it to Palmer, lovely ball out to Ince who crosses it in, Hennessy palms it straight to Mooney's feet and it's an easy tap in, 1-0 Huddersfield. Zaha running with it, takes on his man, swings it in, Benteke has a shot and it's in the back of the net, 89th minute goal to make it one all. And that is the full time whistle, Crystal Palace 1, Huddersfield 1. Stop copying the FM, it's weird. And for game 5 we are at Goodison Park with Everton versus Stoke. Now this is how I think Everton will be lining up, Jordan Pickford in goal, Cuco Martina at right back as Seamus Coleman is injured. Michael Keane and Williams at centre-back, Leighton Baines at left-back, Schneidlin in defensive midfield, sitting behind Gay and Clarsen in central midfield, Morales as the right striker, Sandro as the left striker and Rooney in the centre. And this is how I think Stoke will be lining up, they'll be playing a 4-2-3-1 with Butland in goal, Jeff Cameron and Eric Peters as the full-backs, with Shawcross and Zuma as the centre-backs. Fletcher and Gianelli Imbula as the central midfielders, with Allen as the attacking midfielder, Shakiri and Ramadan Sobi as the wingers, and Berahino up front on his own. Now, I definitely don't think this is going to be a high scoring game. I don't think either team has got the scoring power in them, but I think it's going to be 1 0 to Everton. Now, let's see what Football Manager thinks. And this is how they think Everton are going to line up. Jordan Pickford in goal with a back three of Michael Keane, Jack Yelka and Ashley Williams, Cuco Martina and Leighton Baines as the wing backs, Adressa Gay in defensive midfield, Morgan Schneidlin and Gareth Barry in central midfield, and Wayne Rooney in behind Sandro. And this is how the Stoke lineup looks Jack Butland in goal, a back four of Kurt Zuma, Ryan Shawcross, Philip Volscheid and Eric Peters, a midfield four of Berahino, Darren Fletcher, Joe Allen and Chupa Moting with Jordan Shakiri in behind Mame Biram Juf. And that's the full time whistle. Yeah, nothing happened. It ended nil nil. Now we go down south to the game between Southampton and Swansea. Now, this is how I think Southampton will be setting up. They'll be going for a 4 2 3 1 formation with Forster in goal, Cedric Suarez and Bertrand as the fullbacks, Yoshida and Stevens as the central defenders, Ariel Romeo and Pierre-Emil Hoiberg as the central midfielders, Redmond on the right, Tadic on the left, Ward-Prowse in the centre and Gabbiadini up top. Now for Swansea, I think they're going to go with a 4-3-3, Fabianski in goal, Norton at right back, Fernandez and Alfie Mawson as the centre backs, with Olsen at left back, Britton in defensive midfield with Rocky Mesa and Tom Carroll just ahead of him, and the front three, Luciano Narsing, Tammy Abraham and Gilfie Sigurdsson. Now I think this is going to be a quite high scoring game because both sides don't really look great defensively. I think Southampton have more about them attacking wise, so I think it's going to be 3 1 to Southampton. Let's see how Football Manager thinks it's going to turn out. And this is how they think Southampton are going to line up Forster in goal, back four of Cedric, Yoshida, Romeo, and Bertrand, two central midfielders, Stephen Davis and Lamina, Gabbiadini, right mid, James Ward Prowse, centre attacking mid, Tadic, left mid, and Charlie Austin up top. And this is how the Swansea lineup looks. Fabianski in goal, Kyle Norton at right back, the two central defenders, Fernandez and Mawson, Olsen at left back, Rocky Mesa at defensive midfield, Sigurdsson and Leroy Fur in the centre, Narsing at right mid, Routledge at left mid, and Tammy Abraham up front. Cedric with the throw in to Davis, Gabbiadini, passes to Lamina. He has a strike and it's in the back of the net off the post and Southampton go 1-0 up in the 4th minute. Norton, pass to Narsing. Oh, what a lovely ball to Abraham and he slots it past Forster to make it one all. Ward-Prowse, plays a lovely ball to Gabbiadini. 
who puts it in low and Warprowse is there to meet it and puts it in the back of the net. 2-1 Southampton. Lamina out to Cedric. Swings it into Tadic and what a lovely goal that was. In off the bar and it's 3-1 Southampton. And there is the final whistle. FM keeps bloody copying me. 3-1 Southampton. Now on to the last of the 3 o'clock kickoffs, West Brom versus Bournemouth. This is how I think West Brom are going to line up. Ben Foster in goal, Neom and Brunt as the fullbacks, McCauley and Johnny Evans in the centre, with Jakob and Livermore as the central midfielders, Jay Rodriguez on the right, Nasser Chadley on the left, James Morrison as the attacking midfielder, with Rondon up top on his own. And I think Bournemouth are going to go with a 4-4-2 formation. Begovic in goal, Smith at right back, Francis and Cook as the central defenders with Daniels at left back, Ryan Fraser, Gosling and Harry Arter in the centre and Mark Pugh on the left with the two strikers Josh King and Jermaine Defoe. I was initially thinking this was going to be quite a low scoring game but then I thought Bournemouth last season scored a lot but also conceded quite a lot, so I think it's going to be 2-1 to Bournemouth. Now let's pass over to Football Manager and see what they think. And West Brom will set up like this. Foster in goal, Dawson right back, McCauley and Evans in the centre, Brunt left back, Matt Phillips right mid, James Morrison and Claudio Jacob in the centre with Nasser Chadley on the left and the two strikers Jay Rodriguez and Salomon Rondon. Bournemouth also with a 4-4-2 here, Begovic in goal, back four of Simon Francis, Cook, Wilson and Aki, the midfield four of Gradle, Sermon, Arter and Fraser, and the two up front, Benek Furby and Jermaine Defoe. Brunt with a free kick, and it's in the back of the net, in off Sermon, and it's 1-0 West Brom. Rondon heads it down to Rodriguez, and what a lovely goal, West Brom go 2-0 up. Arter lumps it up to Defoe, cuts inside, has a dig and a wonderful goal by Defoe. Makes it 2-1. And there is the final whistle. FM predicts West Brom 2, Bournemouth 1. Now on to the late kickoff between Brighton and Man City. This is how I think Brighton will be setting up. I think they're going to go for a 4-5-1 formation. With Matt Ryan in goal, Bruno at right back. The two central defenders, Dunk and Shane Duffy. With Bong at left back. Well, Bong. Knockhart at right midfield, the three central midfielders, Stevens, Proper and Pascal Gross, with Skalak on the left and Toma Hemed up top on his Todd. Now I think Man City are going to go with a 4-1-4-1 formation. Edison in goal, Kyle Walker at right back, Stones and Otamendi as centre backs. And I think Danilo is going to play as a left back because Mendy is injured and they don't really have anyone else to play as left back. Yaya Torre as the defensive midfielder with the front four being Sterling, David Silva, De Bruyne and Sané with Aguero up top on his own. I don't really know what to expect from this game. A lot of people are saying it might be a close one and they think Brighton might get something out of the game. But I can't really see past Man City, so it's going to be 4-0 Man City for me. Let's see what Football Manager thinks then. And this is how they think Brighton will set up. Matt Ryan in goal, Matt Ayew right back, Shane Duffy and Dunk as the centre-back, Sutner at left back, Nakar, Pascal Gross, Davi Prepa and Isaiah Brown as the midfield four and Toma Hemed and Glenn Murray as the two strikers. This is how they think Man City will line up. Claudio Bravo in goal, Walker, Company, Otamendi and Mangala as the back four, Fernandinho as the defensive midfielder, Nasri and De Bruyne as the centre mids, Bernardo Silva at right mid, David Silva at left mid and Sergio Aguero up top. De Bruyne swings it in, Nasri, Silva in the back of the net, Stones passes it to De Bruyne and it's in the back of the net, 2-0 City. And that is full time. FM predicts Brighton 0, Man City 2. Now on to the first game on the Sunday, Newcastle versus Tottenham. This is how I think Newcastle will be setting up. They'll be setting up with a 4-2-3-1. Carl Darlow in goal, Javier Manquillo as the right back, Lascelles and Mbemba as the centre backs, Haidara at left back. Colback and Mikel Marino as the central midfielders, Matt Ritchie and Christian Atsu as the wingers, 
with Iosi Perez in behind Alexandra Mitrovic. Spurs also setting up with a 4-2-3-1. Lloris in goal, Trippier at right back, Alderweireld and Vertonghen as the centre backs with Ben Davis at left back, Eric Dyer and Moussa Dembele as the centre mids. Now I've gone with Moussa Sissoko at right mid because Eric Lamella and Son are injured. Ali in the centre and Eriksen on the left with Kane up top on his own. I think this is going to be a close one as well. I think there's a bit of discontent in the Spurs camp and Newcastle are coming up to the Premier League with something to prove. So for me, it's going to be a one-all draw. Now on to Football Manager. And here is the predicted lineup for Newcastle. Carl Darlow in goal, Gamez, Mbemba, Hanley and Dummett as the back four, Mikel Marino and John Joe Shelby as the two central mids, Matt Ritchie, Mohamed Diame, Atsu and Dwight Gale. This is the Tottenham lineup: Hugo Lloris in goal, Trippier right back, Alderweire Alden Vertonghen as the centre backs, Ben Davis at left back, the two central midfielders Dyer and Wanyama, Sissoko at right mid. Ali in the central attacking midfield, Christian Eriksen on the left wing and Harry Kane up top. To the army, to Shelby, to Atsu, oh, Lloris has let that go in. Eriksen through on goal, slots it home, it's 1 all. Into Kane, Wanyama, oh, lovely goal, 2 1 Tottenham. Sissoko, passes to Deli Ali and it's in the back of the net, 3 1 Tottenham. Sissoko on this right hand side, swings it in, Deli Ali is there again to make it 4-1 Tottenham. Ayozi into Atsu and he puts it into the back of the net and it's now 4-2 Tottenham. Harry Kane finishes it off and it's 5-2 Tottenham. And there is the full time whistle. Newcastle 2, Spurs 5. And last but not least, the last game of the weekend, the team I support, Manchester United versus West Ham. Now this is how I think Manchester United will be lining up. I think they're going to go with a 4-3-3 formation. De Gea in goal, Valencia at right back. The two centre backs Lindelof and Smalling with Darmian at left back. Matic as the defensive midfielder with Herrera and Pogba in front of him. Mkhitaryan on the right, Rashford on the left and Romelu Lukaku up on his own. And this is how I think West Ham will be setting up. Joe Hart in goal, Zabaleta at right back, the two centre-backs Winston Reid and Jose Font, Aaron Cresswell at left back, Obiang and Noble as the central midfielders, Andre Ayo at right mid, Lanzini in the centre and Arnautovic at left mid with Chicharito up on his own. Now this always seems to be quite a close fixture to be honest, but I think Manchester United are going to edge it, no bias whatsoever, it's going to be 2-1 Manchester United. Now let's see what football manager thinks. And here is the predicted lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea in goal, Lindelof at right back, two central defenders Smalling and Bailly, Daly Blind at left back, Nemanja Matic in defensive midfield, Pogba and Herrera at centre mid, Juan Mata at right mid. Mkhitaryan on the left and Lukaku up top. For West Ham, Joe Hart in goal, Zabaleta, Winston Reid, Jose Font and Aaron Questwell as the defenders, Obiang and Noble in centre midfield, Arnautovic, Lanzini and Ayu as the attacking midfielders and Javier Hernandez up top. Mata plays it to Martial, lovely finish and it's 1-0 to Manchester United. Mata plays the ball through to Lukaku, he swings it in and Martial is unmarked at the back post to make it 2-0 to Manchester United. And there is the final whistle. FM predicts Manchester United 2, West Ham 0. Here is a quick recap of all the predicted scores. Well thank you for watching the video. These will be shorter in the future because that is quite a long video. Like and subscribe, do all that shit. I'll be back next week with some more predictions. See you later.